guys, so I am currently in Las Vegas. We're staying at the Aria and we got a corner suite. So we've actually got kind of like a living room area and a little dining area and then kind of the bar, two bathrooms and then our bedroom. And it's all sort of got windows the whole way around. But the only thing is we don't actually have a view because we just really wanted to check in. So this morning we had to wake up before four o'clock just so we could go and get our plane when we got there it turned out our plane was two hours delayed which meant that we had gone there two hours earlier than we really needed to be then our plane needed maintenance it just wasn't fit for flight and so we had to wait another hour and a bit um, while we were getting transferred onto another flight and then by the time we got here and then we had to wait to actually get our room we just sort of decided you know screw it let's just go with the first available room but it's still really nice and I actually just had a bath before with bath salts which was amazing and it has jets in it it's like the best thing ever um i don't really think that we're going to be doing too much while we're here in vegas just because we're mostly here to kind of chill out and catch up with um friends and luke's brother and his wife so yeah it's sort of more of a chill out destination for us before we go to la which i think we're going to be doing quite a bit while we're there and then head home uh, for the end of our holiday which is coming up really really quickly so yeah i'll show you guys kind of what we're doing but as i said i'm not sure how exciting this vlog is actually going to be. <laughs> just got some room service I grabbed oats it's basically my favorite thing to eat every day um, so I can't wait to tuck into that Luke grabbed some pancakes which are absolutely enormous and then also grabbed some juice as well so pretty simple breakfast but yeah hey guys so it is day two in Las Vegas um, last night after I kind of said goodbye we went out for dinner at Beauty in Essex which is in the Cosmopolitan Hotel um, we didn't end up I think because it was a Tuesday everything was sort of closed so we sort of looked to see if any of the clubs were open but they weren't so we ended up just coming back to the hotel room today we had a little bit of a lion um, as you saw we got room service which was great and kind of just what I needed um, and then um, I popped out there's this pressed juice place here which is delicious so I went and grabbed some pressed juices and then I just sort of been getting ready and just trying to figure out what to do today um, I'm planning on possibly going down to um, the Paris hotel because I never went in there last time and I really wanted to so yeah I might pop down there I've heard it's really cheesy like fake cobblestones and everything which sounds like a lot of fun um, I will show you guys what I'm wearing I'll just bring you into the bathroom okay so I'm just in the bathroom so I'll show you guys what I'm wearing Vegas is so chill I feel like um, 
focus. <laughs> Okay, so I am wearing a sheer linen t-shirt from Brandy Melville, which you all have seen in one of my haul videos, which I can like uh, put a link to somewhere here so you guys can see. I've got a little black lace bralette underneath just because it is quite a sheer t-shirt and I kind of like the look of that. And then I am wearing these denim shorts from Madewell, which I have been wearing like most of this trip. They're so comfortable. And then on my feet, I've just got these slides from ASOS which have been so good to have on this trip. I don't know if they still sell them anymore. Um, I'll show you guys this bathroom because it's kind of ridiculous. Um, so when you walk in, you've sort of got a separate bathroom is in there. Then in here is a shower. Then you've obviously got kind of like the full double vanity here and then this epically huge bath which I'm obsessed with. So that's basically the plan today which isn't really much of a plan I don't think but it's kind of been nice chilling out in Vegas. Um, two of Luke's friends have actually left now so it's just us and then his brother and his wife are here as well so probably catch up with them and yeah go down to the pool a little bit later on today. the last time that I was in Vegas and yeah it was pretty epic just a, just not like the hangover though <laughs> Yeah, so it's been a few hours since I last checked in or videoed or anything. We popped down to the pool and then we came back up just as Luke sort of come down with a flu, which sucks. Um, we've just been chilling out a little bit. We are going out for dinner in about an hour's time we're heading to this um, restaurant in the Bellagio and I can't remember what it's called but it sounds really good it's sort of farm to table sustainable living that sort of thing so it's completely up my street so that should be a lot of fun and then I think we're gonna go watch the fountains tonight and then that's kind of it because we leave tomorrow morning first thing to drive out to LA so it's been a very chill time here in Vegas and then we've got two more days left of our holiday so it's pretty much almost over but really looking forward to going back to LA um, I love it there and a lot of people don't really like it but I'm so excited I've got some places that I'm really looking forward to going and eating and there's just some things that I hadn't done before that I sort of want to knock out in this trip so yeah it should be good
it is our second to last day or it's our last full day in the US. Just about to go and pick up our car. We have hired a convertible Mustang or at least I think we're getting something similar if that's not available and we're going to drive down to LA which I'm really really excited about. Um, last night for dinner we went to Harvest which is in the Bellagio and the food was spectacular. It was such a great meal so that was a really really good choice. Um, I'm still really full which has pretty much been the general feeling this entire trip although I kind of feel like you can't go to Italy or the US and not eat all the food um, and I can show you guys a little bit of a peek of what I'm going to wear today. Um, it's a little bit of a mess on the bed but I've got this off the shoulder dress with three quarter sleeves from Ruby and it ties at the waist here and then I've got this little um, chain bag as well which is super cute so yeah. have arrived in LA it is super sunny really nice and warm we drove here in a kind of dark greeny gray convertible Mustang we haven't pulled the roof down yet but we might do that on the way to the hotel we're actually just about to go to Winsome for some lunch which I think is kind of desperately needed about now we didn't have breakfast we just wanted to get out of Vegas and make our way to LA so yeah um, I kind of had that one recommended to me so crossing fingers that it's going to be really delicious. Okay, so we've arrived at our hotel. We're staying at the Mondrian in LA and we got a one bedroom suite. But so we've got kind of like a living area here with a TV and then there's this curtain that hides the bar area. So. This is really nice with a little desk there if you want to do any work. We have a view of um, the Hollywood Hills out here, which I think is going to look pretty spectacular at night time. Um, this is a really weird TV. Then you come through to the bedroom and have this really huge comfy looking bed. I think that is where you've got kind of like the wardrobe area. And then our bathroom is really lovely as well. So toilet there, the shower is huge. There's a bath in there and then that's also the shower. Yeah. And there's me. <laughs> so our hotel is really, really lovely. It's actually just the nicest way for us to end our time here in the US. So looking forward to chilling out a little bit here, going to the pool. I'm actually going to head to the apartment by the line here in LA um, just because I can't help myself. But yeah, it should be good fun. We're just in the process of heading out for dinner now. Um, we're going to go to a place called Gracias Madre, which is a vegan Mexican restaurant. I actually went to this, the one in um, San Fran, but I thought I'd just show you guys a quick little peek of what I am wearing. This is probably a better one. I'm just wearing my backless, I can't really show you, backless dress from Karen Walker, my little sandals, and then I've got this sort of um, pinky chain bag as well. This is the view from our hotel room at night. So pretty. Wow, it's really yellow in here. Um, so we have just gotten back from dinner at Gracias Madre, which I would highly recommend. It's a fully vegan menu, but honestly, you wouldn't actually know it from eating the food. It is really tasty. It's full of flavor. And yeah, the actual venue itself was huge and really beautiful inside too. It's worth probably trying to get a table outside if you're there earlier, because it can get a little bit chilly at night. It's just got all these beautiful trees. And yeah, it's, it's a really nice spot to go and eat at. Um, this afternoon, I did go to the apartment by the line. I actually didn't really film anything. I had my camera out and I was taking photos and I felt a little bit weird doing that. And then also filming. The guy probably thought I was absolutely nuts um, and then after that we went down to the hotel pool um, which was quite nice but they were setting up for a private event so we couldn't really stay there for too much long well, for too long at all um, tomorrow is our very very last day we actually fly out at 9 30 p.m. so we are going to go to LACMA the Los Angeles County Museum of Art in the morning and then for lunch I think we're going to go to commissary and then 
in the afternoon we are probably going to pop down to Santa Monica and Venice Beach and sort of do that area so that should be a bit of fun um, it's kind of nice coming back to the hotel room at night because we're up on the ninth floor and we've just got the most incredible view of the full city and I've kind of tried to um, film a video but maybe I can show you from the bedroom hold on I don't know if this is going to focus from here. You might just get my um, shadow, but yeah, it's just all these pretty lights, which we can see from our room, which is really nice. And we've got a bit of a full moon tonight. So yeah, it's a nice little bonus. Hey guys, so it is our last day in LA and our last day of our holiday actually in general. Um, we are just finishing packing and then we're about to go out to Black Bar and then down to Santa Monica here and hopefully we'll put the roof down on the um, Mustang because we haven't actually done that yet. We sort of weren't really sure how to do it and then we didn't want to pull it down and then not be able to put it back up but um, hopefully we'll be able to figure that out today. But yeah, I'm kind of, this is my packing situation right now. Mostly all sorted, which is quite good. Um, and again, the view from our hotel room is just insane. I'm kind of going to miss this. It's been such a fun holiday, so I'm really, really sad for it to end, but hopefully gonna end on a high note. So yeah, it should be a bit of fun today. We figured out how to get the roof down and it's actually awesome. <laughs> We're just about to wander back down to Santa Monica Beach and probably go back to the car and then I think we're going to head to LACMA. Um, and that'll probably be one of the last things that we do while we're in LA and before we head to the airport.